Okay, hello guys. Good evening. This is Dr. Cool or a fix. In today's video edition here, I'm gonna be teaching you guys uh, some of the symptoms which you're gonna be experiencing when you have P0500. P0500 is actually one of the OBD trouble codes that indicates a problem with your vehicle speed sensor. That's what it technically means. So in this very episode here, I'm going to be reading your mind towards every possible symptoms which you should be expecting when you have this very error code in different car make and model. Okay, I'm going to be explaining this in uh, two forms. One in the older model vehicle, there is a different experience when you have a P0500. There is a different symptoms. And in the new model vehicle, there is a different experience, there is a different symptom. So I'm going to be explaining it down in this uh, video as we go. Okay, what you first need to understand is that uh, P0500 is actually uh, an information coming from this vehicle speed sensor. And this very sensor here fits the ECM, the PCM, or the ECU about the speed at which the vehicle is driving so the ECM or PCM can be able to make the necessary usage of the information data or that it's getting from the vehicle speed sensor in order to actuate or to transmit the transmission system the automatic transmission system smoothly to enhance the shiftings of the automatic transmission systems as much as other vehicle utilities now the first symptoms which you're going to be noticing is that the rpms will not rise up like you can see in the screen here sometimes the rpm might not uh, sorry not the rpm the speedo the speedometer is not going to rise up it's not going to work as it's supposed it's going to be giving little or more it's gonna be putting out more readings or less reading as you can see I'm driving fast here but still it's not indicating how many miles per hour which I am driving that is the first symptoms in some cars it might be showing but it's gonna be reading lower than what is supposed to or higher than what is supposed to and any of this very information if it's giving a false information it's not actually good for the automatic transmission system smooth transition of the gears so that's the one and two Errat, uh, one inaccurate uh, speedometer readings or no speedometer readings then the number two is uh, abs light showing on the dash when you start seeing abs light showing on the dash there could be a lot of reasons that's actually prompting it which first could be actually in regard to that could be a failed uh, vehicle speed sensor now I did talk about the old model vehicle previously now let me clarify in the old model vehicle they have a specified vehicle speed sensor also known as the VSS but in the newer model vehicle there is no designated vehicle speed sensor for the car so the new model vehicles especially in this very regard with Toyota it is pretty much using the wheel sensors which is uh, routed to, through the ABS control module in order to be able to transmit the data effectively to the transmission system as much as the ABS control module in order to have access to some other utilities which I'm gonna be discussing down this very video and that is why when the when you have P0500 you could be having ABS light flashing on a dashboard, which doesn't mean that you have a ABS uh, pump failure, but the sensors, and because the vehicle's speed is dependent on it, that is why you're gonna be seeing the ABS light flashing. And some of that's also, you're gonna be noticing a traction control light or ESP, electronic stability program or VSC, which is vehicle stability program. So any of this, when you start seeing the signs, and that's a sign that you could be having uh, a P0500 in your car now the next one which you're also going to be looking at when symptoms which you're going to be looking at is erratic transmission shifting when you have a P0500 
you're going to be experiencing erratic transmission shifting. It could uh, shift from gear 1 to 4 or 1 to 3 or 3 to neutral. It could be uh, erratic shifting the gear to whichever one which you want. So when you start having erratic shifting of your gear, there are a lot of other factors that can actually contribute to this very problem. So it is imperative to scan your car and find out exactly where the problem is coming from. If it is from the ABS control module, because uh, the ABS sensors, the wheel sensors, or the ABS control module itself, or any other component within the automotive system that's actually making the mess or mechanical problem that has caused the problem. Other problems you might, other symptoms you're gonna be noticing is a decreased RPMs. Decreased RPMs uh, limiter. You're gonna be noticing that the RPMs is not responsive as it's supposed to because most of the cars, depend on the car make and model, the uh, speed uh, informations or speed uh, parameters are being dependent on the vehicle speed sensor so if the vehicle speed sensors for the old models fails then you're going to be having a decreased rpm uh limiter so you're going to be having some sort of erratic rpms on your car now for newer model vehicles there's a whole lot of other problems you're going to be facing when you have a p0500 and in camry or toyota models you're going to be noticing a lot of systems that are getting deactivated the camera getting deactivated uh emergency braking system getting deactivated anti-collision radar sensor getting deactivated it's all coming from the vehicle speed uh data is not being fed correctly to the ecm or pcm now lastly the one which i'm going to be using to crown it up is you're going to be noticing a, some sort of a malfunction in your steering wheel, especially if it's using an electrical assisted uh, power steering system. So when, it's using, uh, when your vehicle is configured to use an electrical assisted power steering system, then you're going to be noticing a severe malfunction on your steering wheel. So it's going to be hard sometimes and soft sometimes. The reason that is because the the engine electronic management or the ECM rely on the vehicle speed in order to be able to know how much torque is going to be releasing or giving on the steering so it don't get too soft or too hard while you're driving. The ideal situation there is when the vehicle is at a higher speed then it shouldn't make the steering to be too soft as it's going to create an accident. So guys, I hope you find this very helpful. Do share this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.